just really what I wanted to do was spend literally a couple of minutes, because I know I covered last time uh, at Tech Connect, last time did a bit of a lightning talk about one of those training routes that's available to you as employers uh, trying to train up and develop uh, software developers. One of that kind of growing provision that we're all here today for is um, a software developer level four um, apprenticeship that we currently uh, do. It's so great to hear from, from Jordan, uh, one of the current apprenticeship uh, cohorts, um, hearing how it, what it really looks like. So I'm going to kind of touch very briefly, high level, what's involved, and then kind of share a brief case study with a new employer that we're working with at the moment. It's great some of our current employers are already in the room here as well. Who, if you need to speak to them to really find out what it's like having an apprentice doing this particular program, do come and speak to them as well. So. Software developer level four, um, won't touch on the stuff that Gav's already covered, what makes an apprenticeship an apprenticeship. Um, just to say who are apprenticeships for, 16 or older, anyone can be. Um, there can be a really cost effective way if you've got existing employees that you want to train up. And that can be really appropriate for uh, the tech community like yourself. If you've got employees who've been coding since the year dot, but haven't necessarily taken a, a qualification route to get to that place. If you've got an existing employee that you want to train up, they can get on the job learning, they can do the, uh, the qualification side as well. Um, and that can be a really good way forward for you. Or you can recruit new apprentices if you need more hands to the plow. Um, in the case of the software developer, um, the other things to flag up on top of what Gareth has already said, of, the building blocks of apprenticeships. The 10% contribution, if you're a non-levy payer, um, in this case, for this program, is 1,800 pounds. So it's just something to bear in mind. It depends on the age of the apprentice. Um, and it's a two-year long program. This time last week, I know it was a bit of a staged photo, I'm sure, but this is uh, Tom and Lolly, their first week into uh, working with Avanti. Uh, just shows you, what, what does this really look like for you as employers? Shows you that, Satellite operations isn't about commanding a joystick, it isn't playing computer games, it's uh, code at the end of the day that is underlying all systems operations and that's um, something we may or may not we'll be sharing about a bit later this afternoon. But um, Tom and Ollie, last week, in situ, beginning that exciting journey of uh, learning about coding for um, satellite operations. And again, part of what Avanti are doing this is for kind of rural broadband connection to the Middle East, Africa. Um, so a great learning environment, isn't it? What an opportunity. Uh, what an opportunity for those two particular learners. The only downside, our marketing department, all we've been hard at work, the sky's the limit puns and all that kind of it's out of this world stuff that we'll get for the next two years. But, um, but anyway, that's a really whistle-stop tour, all I would say. If you've got any further interest, there's a bunch of these, the kind of standards, um, the software developer level four standard available at the back. Have a look, shows you the technical competencies, what that can look like, what's involved. Take one of those or come and speak to me or one of the team. Bro, no worries. <laughs>